People across America today are remembering 21 years since the 9-11 terror attacks. Commemorations are planned at the Pentagon and in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and victims' families will gather to honor the thousands killed that day at the World Trade Center in New York. For more on how the city is marking the anniversary, Lisa Ev Memorial with the details. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning, Maureen and Tom. Well, we are here about a block away from 9-11 Memorial Plaza, as close as we're allowed to get by the NYPD as they continue to secure that area. The family members of the victims from that day will start gathering in the plaza in about 45 minutes in preparation for this solemn ceremony. We prepared a report. Let's take a look. It was a day that changed the course of history, not just in America, but around the world. Nearly 3,000 lives were taken in an unprecedented terror attack on American soil. Over the following 21 years, more than 4,300 people have died from 9-11 illnesses. Ailing survivors push to get medical help as they fight for their lives. For Max Giacconi, who was 10 years old at the time, 9-11 changed his life forever, taking away his beloved father, Joseph Giacconi, inflicting a pain that will never go away. I miss my dad every single day. I think about him, whether it's subconsciously or consciously, every single day. He says his grief turned into anger over his loss and for what his dad missed out on. I complain about my commute into New York right now, um, but he did it every day and still found it a way to get home for every baseball game, every practice. Each year, a commemoration ceremony is held at the site of the attacks in Lower Manhattan, honoring the lives that were lost, as the six key moments are solemnly remembered with the ringing of a bell. So 8.46, when hijacked Flight 11 impacted the North Tower, Tower 1, uh, we move on to the impact of the second plane, Flight 175, at 9.03. We go on to the Pentagon, 9.37 the collapse of Tower 2, 9.59, 10.03, the crash of Flight 93 in near Shanksville, Pennsylvania, and then the final collapse, the collapse of Tower 1. Robert Gerlich. Dennis P. Germain. The names of the 2,977 victims are read during this time by family members. Each name has its own place engraved on the walls of the two reflecting pools. On another side of Memorial Plaza, at the 9-11 Museum, multi-generational crowds come to learn about what is now a pivotal moment in American history. People come to pay respects, and they also come to try to understand what this means, something that is so still, 21 years later, almost unfathomable. When the sun goes down, visitors will be able to see the tribute in light, which sends two beams of light four miles into the sky, so that all who see it will never forget. Now, the vice president is expected to be here, as will be the governors of New York and New Jersey and the mayor of New York City. But at this solemn ceremony, there are no political speeches. It is simply the reading of the name, the tolling of the bell, and a little bit of music. Everything focused on the victims, everything focused on what their families are going through. Now, also, the 9-11 Memorial Museum this year has decided to put a focus on unity, unifying all of the different ceremonies that are happening and remembrances all around around the country they have a hashtag called remember the sky on their official social media which is 911 memorial museum because the sky that day was very very beautiful in contrast to the horror that was going on here and so they're asking people to take a picture of the sky the way it looks wherever you are today post it on your own social media in remembrance of the unity that the United States had at that particular time with the hashtag remember the sky so that's what's happening here in lower manhattan tom and maureen back to you